G'day guys, so we just had a successful uh, uh, rocket launch with the Estes Riptide rocket, just a basic rocket. They're about 30 bucks in the US and uh, 60 odd dollars in Australia. The engines are about 20 bucks for three. This is using the B64 engines for 325 feet. Yeah. It's all right, and uh, basically we've used toilet tissue, as the guys in the uh, shop said, uh, to uh, insulate. So basically the engine fires for about 1.2 seconds, not even, and then there's a delay. Don't do not do that. And then it blows the, the uh, lunar module off, and the parachute, which we've carefully folded, is inside now. The pre with the previous launch, we just had some very slight damage to the parachute, so I cannot um, say enough how powerful the blast is to blow that nose off, because we actually had six or seven little double pieces of toilet paper in there. I read something about putting bicarb on them or something, maybe to prevent fire. Uh, those toilet tissues in the last launch have vanished. We do not know where they are. So you can see the blast plate there has the mark from the, the last launch, and now we're going to launch again this little thing up here is just to make sure you don't poke your eyes out I'd say that's probably one of the most important things uh, about it uh, because that's very very dangerous so uh, w the winds picking up a little it's blowing southeast now Jonah's gonna do the launch we're gonna have a T minus five this time so in the last video we made he launched it after two seconds uh, and I didn't get to do the launch so I'm gonna push the safety key in okay and when the light comes on, it means the circuit's completing through the detonator, which will ignite the solid rocket booster. So you that for Yeah, no, I'm going to count from five. When I get to one... Okay, so you're going to count... And ignition, when I say ignition... When I say ignition, you push it. T minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Okay, that went significantly higher. Oh my god! Looks like when the Challenger blew up and we have the lunar module coming down, the parachute has opened. I the bits of tissue are going to end up in Malabar. That's all right, and here it comes. So we've predicted that the wind would take it over there. Down comes the lunar module and it's landed. Very, very good. Uh, so, Jen, Jonah, very carefully bring it back. He's doing the recovery, and then we can inspect the parachute for further damage right now and advise on... Uh... Aha, uh -huh. this is what I want to see. Okay, we've had ignition of the toilet paper, which could set fires to things. So, uh, yeah, uh, best to, um, well, we'll do another launch tomorrow and we'll find out what to do with the toilet tissue. By adding water, you'd actually weigh it down. Uh, you're meant to use Estez, Estez wadding, but they never had it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, two very successful launches. Uh, I can highly recommend this product, uh, being uh, interested in aviation and stuff. Over here we can see the igniter, which has been left behind. Bring it back so I can YouTube it. So we're gonna do, hope, hopefully the parachute's not being damaged. And um, that was really good. It went a lot higher than the first one. And there's a nice delay. So the engine, what it does, it then blows the top off. Uh, it blows the top off and uh, 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 launches the parachute out after a significant delay. Obviously there are different engines you can get. Um, and, and you can see the, slowly Jonah, slowly, you can see the parachute. So let's have a look. Do we have any damage to the parachute? Um, no, we didn't. So, all right, guys, they say to pack it loosely. What you want to do, put about six double pieces of toilet paper rolled up inside fairly firmly. What they mean is as well, what I should clarify on, is you do not want to jam the parachute in. And another tip, you don't want that rubber band jamming the nose cone in because it might not come off, though it's a very, very powerful blast. There's the uh, engine we've used. 
and uh, we've had two successful missions and recoveries in, in fairly strong wind. Uh, great product, SDS. Highly recommend it, guys. And that's just the basic. You can get a lot bigger than that. But, uh, you know, we've got an airport here nearby. That went high enough as it was. So, yeah, really good. Really, really good. <laughs> Reach the moon. Well, that's that's the goal. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.